Well, folks, good morning to you all. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning. It's January 31st, 2023 in Big Bear Lake, California. Don't mind, it says 20 degrees at 6 a.m. That's gonna drop about another five or six or seven degrees at least. It always starts off really warm when I, when I start my car in the morning, but it's really cold out here today. That's where we're at right now. Good morning, you guys. Had fun with those live feeds. If you guys like what I do, please hit like and subscribe. We're gonna go on a long drive of the entire valley right now we're going to go to the ski resorts first go through these roundabouts and then we're going to drive around the lake when there's no one out here and it's mighty cold out here so uh yeah and also congratulations there's going to be two people getting 50 dollars gift cards on the 5th of february i'm going to do a youtube short to announce the two winners and i picked the winners from my i, I have an app that's a random number generator i'm gonna do that for you guys and i'm super excited to do that for you guys oh my gosh i'm so excited to do that for you guys can't wait to see who wins Woohoo! All right, so it's clear as a bell out here. My goodness, that it is beautiful out here. Absolutely stunning out here. And it's going to be nice this time of the morning because we're not going to hit much traffic at all. Oh, this is great. Just look at that blue sky over the freaking, it's just, it's a silhouette. Look at the mountains, that's Bear Mountain up there. That's where we're going first and then we're gonna hit up Summit. Just spectacular guys. What a lovely place to live. I mean really, what a lovely place to live. All these lights in here are super bright so what we're gonna do is we're gonna dim them all so it doesn't affect the camera when I, go out the window like that as much can you guys still see everything okay oh, you're probably not gonna be able to see okay so we're gonna you know we're just gonna turn it back up forget it or i'll turn it to right there there we go all right folks so how's everyone doing this beautiful morning hope you all are doing well this is the official aftermath video you guys this is the Big Bear snowfall aftermath video and we have the time lapse still recording that's i'm gonna cut that at about noon today or whenever the sun beats down on my camera so much that it shuts it off because of overheating so yeah <laughs> i know it's not good for, for the camera like that but it sits right up against the window and when the snowstorms are gone and we have a sunny day uh that sun beats in there and it, it makes it so hot like almost too hot to touch so it's not a good thing but anyway you guys so for a free sledding area Follow me right here. I'm not going to go all the way, but instead of turning left on this street right here called Gold Mine, where it says Bear Mountain, you just keep going straight on this road. Just keep going straight on this road. And they're making a bunch of snow out here. They are making a bunch of snow out here. You can see it over here on the left hand side. I don't want to roll down my windows. I've learned my lesson when it's really cold outside to roll down your windows. Um, I've had, and when I drove a Mercedes ML 500 my first couple of years up here, it was an older one. Um, when I would uh, roll, when I rolled down the windows one, one day when it was about, gosh, I would have to say five, six, seven degrees. I, as soon as I hit roll down, you'd hear pop, like really loud pop. And I blew up the internal, uh, part of the, of, of the window system inside. And it costs five hundred dollars, which I, I couldn't afford. That cost five hundred bucks each freaking window to fix the inside. The uh, yeah, the the electronics on on the inside. So that that was not cool. Certainly did not like that at all. But that's bare. That wasn't really the greatest view, you guys. So forgive me about that. We are the golf course is here to the left. It's, it's, it's a really beautiful place, that golf course, guys. But I'm telling you right now, this is such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scene out here right now. All these people are going to work at Bear Mountain right now. I guarantee you that's what all these cars are coming. Temperature's not falling as much as I thought it would. But it says 
19 degrees. Once again, there's Shark Lake right there. <laughs> But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the aftermath video. These are never usually short videos, so I will try to use some of the time to shut my trap so you guys can just enjoy the beauty of the drive, especially when there's not gonna be that many people on the road. So let's look forward to that. So by the way, you guys, thanks again for uh, all of you who joined the live feed. That was so much fun, those two live feeds. Um, I've been getting requests for that for a long time. So what I'm, what I'm gonna do for you guys is every single snowstorm from here on out, we're gonna do a live feed or two. Depending how big the storm is, we could do three or four. Um, I, just, I just wanna do what brings a smile to your guys' face and brings you literally the uh, real-time update that would be the best thing my MacBook is super fast so it uploads videos very quickly so even when we're not doing doing lives usually it's about 30 minutes after I put it on the laptop that we're good to go but this these aftermath videos usually take a good hour and a half and I'm so tired. I was tossing and turning all night long last night. It was it was it was a tough night to fall asleep. So we are going to take the shortcut to Snow Summit, by the way. That's through Evergreen. This person's wondering what the heck's going on up here. So this yeah, this roundabout guys is is just not not cool. Not a fan. When it snows, you can't see any of the curbs or anything it's just it's just it's not helpful but that tree is beautiful we'll take that 18 degrees now it, it it's gonna keep keep lowering I guarantee you I guarantee so we're gonna turn down evergreen we're gonna try and stay at apples soon you guys I promise I promise I really want you guys to get a good uh, get a lot more hotels on my playlist and we're going to do more restaurant interviews and the and the, the restaurants where I don't know the owners I will definitely ask if I can interview the owner and talk to them and see what we can do to spread the love in Big Bear and uh you know make these people some more money because they work hard they deserve it and I'm definitely not a selfish person I want to help my neighbor I want to help them out a lot I've been accepted into this town and uh, it makes me feel feel really good because this is the first place I've ever been like fully on my own. Alright. Yeah, we're not going to be getting out of the car for this drive, but I am going to do video where I walk through the village probably I might even do that live I'll probably do that sometime at the end of the week maybe we'll see I might do that live though I'm just worried that I'll like walk into trees and light poles and stuff while I'm reading your comments and trying to respond <laughs> but that's okay it might make an improvement on my face on my face On my face. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look, temperature's falling. It's 17 degrees. There we go. I haven't slid once on any of these drives, guys, for this storm either, unless I do it on purpose. And it's fun to do it on purpose. I'm surprised they've turned off the snow machines already. Why wouldn't they take as much advantage of it as possible? 
So we are coming up to Snow Summit, you guys. If you just drive by like you work here, they're not going to stop you. I'm, I'm noticing that. Let's see here, though. <laughs> So we like to do this little roundabout here. Oh, it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Look at the slopes. Look at how beautifully groomed they are. Guys, they, they take such good care of these places up here for you guys. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Just beautiful. All right, let's make like Tom and Cruz. What a beautiful time of the day. Unbelievably beautiful. And since uh, my window, I don't want to roll it down. We're just going to kind of point this direction like this. Oh, yeah. Let's get a zoom in on this one here as well. It's so pretty. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So nobody's here yet. Shall we do it? Yeah, we'll head to the parking lot. Why not? We will head to the parking lot. I'm sure you guys want to know how much snow we got. I totally forgot to mention it at the beginning of the video. At my house, we got about two inches of snow from this storm that was uh, supposed to bring a foot. And you know what? I saw some news, like our local, like like KTLA and KCAL 9 and stuff. Some of them were saying yesterday that we got a, a foot of snow already. Can you believe that? Like that's a big reason why people don't come up here because they expect a lot more than is actually spoken about. And uh, wait, that didn't make sense. I haven't slept much. So the people who come up here, they expect a lot more snow when they're watching the news and hearing what the news is saying about it. And sadly, it's just not, not the case as I said about two inches of snow at, at my house maybe not even quite two inches guys I'm not kidding well, I'll tell you what this should be an absolutely spectacular drive because um, hopefully these roads will stay white for the whole drive that's another reason we like to to get up and, and do these early so it, it just looks absolutely stunning we gotta come up to these stop signs on the big river boulevard a little bit slow in case we do slide a little bit we don't want to risk that so there's no one coming this way and there's no one coming this way so we're gonna go this way but my goodness straight ahead that mountain out there there is a lot of snow up there i don't know if, if you can see that there's a lot of snow straight ahead i heard i heard it's i'm i'm not sure because i i can't be there to see with my own eyes but I heard places like Green Valley Lake got like two feet of snow. And that's where that mountain is, just covered in white straight ahead. I mean, just covered in white. Looks like Mount McKinley, jeez. lakes just on the other side of that mountain that we're, we're looking at straight ahead I know you can't really see it too well temperature jumped back up to 19 degrees this is where we at right there right there big bear coffee roasting company what's up Chris how you doing brother 
you guys, I am, I'm so thankful for you guys, man. You guys are such amazing people. So many of you have said you've already stopped in there, and a lot of you have said when you come up here next time, you're definitely going to stop in there for sure. That means so much to me, you guys. That guy goes through so much medically and just busts his butt to have such a tremendous product and never complains about anything. Like, I'm... He's definitely a father figure for me up here. I really look up to that, to that man. You know what we, f we forgot to do? Here, we're gonna make a U-turn here, turn onto this street and go through the village real quickly because we gotta do that at this time. We've got to, we don't have a choice. We don't have a choice. All right, guys, we're going through the village here. We're the only car here, ha! Huh. Once again, it's Tuesday, January 31st, 2023, in beautiful Big Bear Lake, California, in the San Bernardino National Forest in Southern California. Such a beautiful place. Guys, please, please, please hook a brother up, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate it. And guys, I also want to thank you too. We just hit 15,000, or we're at like 14,999 subscribers. I'm super, super, super amazed by that. You guys have been such amazing people. Thank you so much for all you guys do for me, for all the help, for subscribing, for liking, for leaving me the most amazing comments, for donations, just for everything, you guys. Thank you for treating me like a family member. Thank you for showing me respect. Thank you for the love. Like it's, it's endless thank yous, you guys, endless thank yous. Today, our temperature is not going to get above freezing, supposedly. It is not going to get above freezing. And road conditions, um, one, uh, once again, I checked early this morning and it still showed R2 conditions especially on the uh, the running spring side of the mountain here. So just be extra, extra cautious. Bring your tire chains with you guys. As I said, it's, it's not gonna be a warm day. We're not even probably gonna get above freezing, but the good news is um, if you want a little bit of snow melt to feel more comfortable when you're driving up here, um, because the sun's gonna be shining bright without a cloud in the sky, we're gonna get some radiational heating up here. So that's gonna melt some of the snow. It's not gonna melt much, but it, it definitely will melt some of the snow. But yeah, bring your chains, please. Also bring some warm clothes. Obviously you'll have warm clothes, but bring blankets for the car. Bring food and water in case you get stuck. And always, always guys, fill up your gas tank at the bottom of the mountain. Always fill up your gas tank at the bottom of the mountain. Very important. Even if you have three quarters of a tank when you hit the bottom of the mountain or more, fill it up. It's just better to be safe than sorry. You guys are very valuable. You guys are just, I don't want anything to happen to any of you guys. So please heed my advice. So now we're on Big Bear Boulevard. This is the main boulevard. What I'm gonna try and do is just not say anything else until we get to the next area kind of like uh, Boulder Bay and I'll mention that we're getting to Boulder Bay and then over by the dam so I'm going to try not to talk for basically the rest of the time that we are here on the way to the dam thank you guys again for everything
quick, guys. I have a, a cool magic trick. I can make this car in front of us disappear. Abra. Good job. Guys, wasn't is it? Boom. Magic. Can you believe that? All right, I'll be quiet. All right, we are coming up to Boulder Bay, folks. Here's where we're at on the map. Turn right to get into Boulder Bay, right here. All right, I'll be quiet till we get to the dam. Coming up to the dam, folks. To the John Claude Van Dam. We got the Chester Mobile in front of us. cool with him he let us go so I'm flashing him my my hazards to let him know thank you I'm very grateful for that I really appreciate you buddy all right one more right and a left and we are at the dam
And guys, I would say they got about two or three inches of new snow over here. Not much, you guys, not much. This is all snow from the previous storms. This isn't just from, from right now, so don't get too excited, but this is a lot of snow and it looks super pretty. The people in Mammoth think this is a dusting. turn right at the light and head all the way to Baldwin Lake. So this is where we're at right now and we're going to be going to the fish tail, to the shark tail. You can't even see it in this picture. Wow, way up there straight ahead there's a lot of snow right there. That's a lot of snow at the top there. All right, here we go. So yeah, chains are still required. Four-wheel drive with snow tires, okay. Carry chains is what she says. All right, here we go. This is gonna be a beautiful sunrise, you guys. Wow, this drive right now is gonna be smoking awesome. Temperatures jumped up to 20. We're gonna point as much as we can over towards the lake, you guys, for this part of the drive, going to Fonskin, because uh, watching the sunrise is just gonna be spectacular. Oh my gosh, it's just gonna be spectacular. I gotta get views like from here, but unfortunately it's not, it's not doing me too well because it's capturing some of the inside of the car so we're gonna have to do that you know what we're gonna take the risk and roll down the window a little bit I don't care oh that didn't sound good but we're gonna get better views like this and then this view oh my gosh look at those colors coming up Guys, isn't that remarkable? Isn't that just a remarkable view? We'll get some, some of the view over here too. But seriously, we need to focus over here. This is just, this is too much for us right now. This is too, too pretty. Imagine doing a sunset walk or a, sun, a sunrise walk every morning in these conditions. Oh, just be gorgeous. I love the smell out here. It smells like a fireplace. It's so, so nice.
there's definitely no one behind us. So we're gonna get a good view right now. We're gonna go really slow around this corner. I always love going slow around this corner. This person who lives here is so lucky. Like, what an incredible place. They get to see this every single morning. Coming up to the Eagle Sanctuary, you guys. Here's one of the signs that says closed Eagle Habitat area. Boom, right there. This is where the Eagles live. skin Don't blink. Beautiful shot of San Gorgonio back there, that big mountain in the background. Oh no, we got a snow plow in front of us. It's gonna cramp our style right now. Surprised to see some some brown spots here. That's kind of shocking. Take a look down some of these streets here in Fonskin, and one of these days we're gonna go up to get a good look at the lake from the Fonskin perspective. You know what though, we're missing out on this right here. Look at all that ice on the lake. Unbelievably beautiful, guys. Unbelievably beautiful. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. 
is so pretty. There's a lot of a lot of snow on top of the ice. It looks so amazing out there. We've got campgrounds on either side of the road right here. Typically, mainly this right side though. trying to get over to Baldwin before the sun really pops up because the windshield needs to be cleaned and we're not going to be able to see as well with these little speckles on the windshield <coughs> with the sun shining down on it. Here's some more campgrounds over here. They're nestled in those trees so it's, it's kind of hard to see them. But yeah, this, wow, it's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. There's the Discovery Center. Big Bear Discovery Center. You know what, we, we definitely have to do a tour there. I think that would be beautiful for us to do. Look at the size of this house just sitting here out of nowhere. From upstairs in that house, they definitely have a beautiful lake view and a view of all the ski resorts. It's just amazing. been like a champ like a champ so I want to show you guys the Big Bear snow rule we haven't been over to Baldwin yet during this storm 
So you'll see the Big Bear Snow Rule in effect, as usual. When we get to Baldwin Lake, there's going to be hardly any snow. If not, they might not even have any snow at the very end from this storm. So we're going to see. We're going to see pretty soon. As I said, we want to maintain the roads being white like this because it just looks so pretty. All right, usually we would turn right here on Stanfield Cutoff, but we are certainly not going to do that today. We're going to go this way. And we are, we are entering Big Bear City. For those of you who don't know, there's Big Bear Lake and Big Bear City. Those are the two main towns up here. They're actually, they're different cities. Here's St. Joseph's where I crashed my car right here. And I'm excited to see what the lake looks like over in Baldwin. As you know, they don't get as much uh, precipitation, so I don't know how much different it's gonna look. I'm hoping significantly different, but I doubt it. I doubt it. There's the airport, you can see the airport over here. It's really clear as a bell today, you guys. It's so pretty out here. So if you guys like what I'm doing, please hit the like and subscribe button. Please help me out, you guys. I want to take this channel and blow it up as best I can. And having all of you here with me for a long time to come would, would be the greatest gift of all. where we're at we're heading towards the fishtail and it's 19 degrees Nothing special over here, just some residential neighborhoods. I mean, it's all special. Just to get the chance to live up here is special, but we're not driving around just to look at these homes in Big Bear City, I'll tell you that. We're here to look at the snow, the mountains, the lake, the new lake, Baldwin.
Boom, look at that view. Well, we're gonna take a look at this. Now we're gonna reach back for this view. Oh yes, folks. The sun's starting to come up. Guys, look at that. The sun is starting to come up right there. You can see it. We well, can't see the sun yet, but you can see where it's slowly but surely making an appearance. Look at the temperature now, guys. It gets cold on this side of town, like really cold. 16 degrees. It just looks like a fire over the hill. That is so beautiful. So beautiful. All right, here's Baldwin Lake, folks. Gosh, it's incredible. Look at it, guys. It's incredible. It's a huge lake now when it's usually nothing out here. Isn't that amazing, you guys? We're gonna go a little bit slower to enjoy the lake view. This whole side over here, guys, this is what we're driving up against on the left-hand side here. Just a wall. And we got these beautiful rocks up here on the left-hand side, the very top. But yeah, back to the beauty over here. 14 degrees, guys. 14 degrees. It feels that cold outside. I'm definitely not rolling up the window anytime soon until we get back into Big Bear Lake where it's a lot warmer. 13 degrees. You guys want to see something cool? My rear view mirror, watch this. I push this button and it turns into a camera. Look at the camera behind the car. How cool is that? How cool is that? We're gonna turn it back to the, the, the rear view though. 12 degrees, 12 freaking degrees guys. I bet we get down to 10 degrees on this drive. 11 degrees now. Let me show you so you guys believe me. It's 11 degrees. I 
I told you, 10 degrees, there we go. It's, it might get colder, it's dropping, it's plummeting. Come on, let's get into single digits, let's do it. Let's do it. Staying at 10. Come on, just one more degree. Come on, guys. Let's do this. Let's get into single digits. Well, just so you guys can see where we're at, that is where we're at. We're at, we're at the fishtail, Baldwin Lake. We're driving at the end of Baldwin Lake. Looks like a movie set, doesn't it? So way out that direction through that valley is Big Bear Lake and the Big Bear Dam. Yeah, we might not get into single digits, oh well. I just thought that would be super cool if we were able to pull that off. Still at 10. It's so pretty. You can see the sun already kind of rising on the top. Oh, it's 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 it's, it's risen over here a little bit on just where we drove by. That's the other side of uh, of Baldwin Lake where we had to drive through to get here. Where you see all the sun on that mountain to the right. That's beautiful. Oh, that is beautiful. Jumped back up to 11. So 10 was probably as low as we are going. Said thank you to that person for letting me by. Oh, it's so pretty out here. Just look at the sunrise over there off the mountains and off of my side of town just amazing so we're gonna keep the camera over here for about a minute while we pass some of the equestrian area well actually we're gonna keep it over here for one more minute and then we'll switch it take a look at this side there's a town up top here if you go up that hill right there there's, there's a town up there too oh my goodness I just can't get enough of this I cannot get enough of this all right you guys ready some of these roads go way back here there's equestrian stuff going on here it's it's awesome it is awesome Now 
back to the good part. This is the tale of Nick driving around Big Bear. He drives like a champ on these icy roads. Okay, so we're leaving the least snowiest part of town. As you can see, there's just not, not much out here. If you look where the snow plows would usually plow, there's nothing. I mean, really har hardly nothing. Now Baldwin Road turned into Shea Road when we turned that corner right there. And this is where we're at, the other side of the fishtail. Coming around. I'm gonna show you guys a sledding spot over here as well. I'm gonna do a video where I take you guys to a few sledding spots for free on the video and I'll put it in its own playlist. But there is a sledding spot over here in Baldwin that I refer to you guys or I refer you guys to. And we're coming up to it right now. So you'll see this like empty space. You can park your car there. Just make sure you stand at, at the very end so your kids don't slide into the road. But here it is. You can't miss it, you guys. You really can't. It's the only open space on Shea Road right here as you're, you're driving around to get to Baldwin. Here's a donkey. Look, guys. These are natural out here. Hey, guys. How you guys doing? How you doing today? You doing pretty good? Hello, Mr. Donkey. Oh my gosh, they are so cute, you guys. Oh my gosh, that was so awesome. Guys, those things just run wild out here. And apparently the reason why they're here is from many, many years ago during our, our gold rush up here, that was, they used the donkeys um, to carry heavy material, wood, stuff like that into the uh or up to like holcomb to the mine areas but when they abandoned this place for the gold they left the donkeys up here and they've been part of our our area for a long time i rarely ever get to see them though so that was really cool guys we just saw some donkeys so cute I just want to get out and hug them that probably wouldn't be a great idea though hey here comes the sun do, 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 do. here comes the sun it's alright got some really cute houses along Shea Road you guys on both sides coming up here is an empty space that's it's just beautiful it's really 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 beautiful I'll show you guys in a moment when we get there it's just it, it's it's always an untouched snowy patch it's so pretty still 11 degrees okay well there's not that much snow over here guys but usually this is just beautiful when it's just covered in snow but as I told you this part of town doesn't get that much snow at all I mean hardly any this is so pretty out here Okay, this is where we're at. We are out of the fishtail for the most part.
This is East Big Bear Boulevard right here. Not much going on. This that's just a neighborhood in there. But there's a really pretty prairie area with some more farming and stuff like that over there. Not a lot of people get to see that part of Big Bear because it's not visible from any of the roads. Here's Highway 38. This is one of the main ways in and out of town, guys. This one drops you off in uh, Mentone next to our friend Andrew in Mentone. So it's 11 degrees here. I bet when we get over by my house, it's gonna be uh, back up to about 20, maybe 21 or 22. And it's not far away from here either. Man, that school bus is really letting a lot of smoke out of its tail. That was Maple. That is such a dangerous road in these conditions. You guys do not want to drive up Maple to get to Sugarloaf when it's this temperature with ice and snow on Maple. Go down Highway 38 and then turn right on Baldwin. Baldwin Road. It's still a little bit steep, but not nearly as steep as Maple. There were a couple cars in the ditch on Maple. Just this little tiny storm that we had. Temperatures up to 12 degrees. These poor kids walking to the bus stop up here. It's really cold. But these Big Bear kids are tough. I remember when when my schools in, in Newport Beach in the Orange County area would would play sporting events up here. These were tough teams. They were tough kids up here. We would always talk smack, but you know, they uh, were damn good. It's 13 degrees now. We have left Baldwin. We are out of Baldwin. We're in Big Bear City now. We're back on Big Bear Boulevard. must be a new school bus driver up here because they drive like absolute maniacs the school bus drivers they flip you off and everything like they're <laughs> they're crazy up here I'm actually doing my aftermath video right now, bro. And in Baldwin, it was 10 degrees just 12 minutes ago at about 6.55, it was 10 degrees. But over where I live in Moonridge, it was 20 degrees when I left my house. guys right here big bear smoking vape the owner sahil is such a wonderful guy they don't just have smoke stuff here they've got some some local trinkets and t-shirts and stuff he's a really really good guy we're gonna do an interview there he has two stores one here in bear city and one in bear lake and he deserves all the support in the world as well he was one of the few who when i first moved up here made me feel extremely welcome I still, eight years later, kind of stick to myself up here. It's very clicky up here. I guess you'll get that anywhere you go, but 
I noticed it was more so than anywhere else I've ever lived. But that's that small town vibe, you know. As I said, I moved up here for the snow, and that's it. Not, not the mountains, not the lake, not the people, just the snow. So just to get this, this is why I'm here. This is beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Usually we would take the back roads, but I want you guys to see what it's like on Big Bear Boulevard right now. If we didn't have the school bus up here going uh, 18 miles an hour, we'd be good. You'd be good. There's there's not any traffic really. The two cars in front of him turned out and turned in front of him, so they they just got onto the boulevard. So he's the only one kind of going super slow, but good because we don't want our kids to be hurt up here. I'm in no rush right now. I just want to get this video uploaded. They have fixed a lot of the potholes I have noticed, which is great. But there's still quite a few nasty ones. Look at the temperature already, 17 degrees. Can you believe that? That's where we're at right there. There's the shark. Hope you guys are enjoying the video, the nice tour around Big Bear right after the snowstorm, early morning, still really cold, no snow is going to melt right now. Um, if you guys are liking, please hit the like and subscribe button. If, if you're still watching and you haven't, I would really appreciate it. It would really help me a lot. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Let's get back to this. guys weren't with me we would be in front of the school bus already <laughs> this is division road this is what separates big bear city from big bear lake here's motel six and we're about to get a nice little drive by the snow play area so keep your eyes open here this is a paid snow play area we should go do this some sometime too i should wear my gopro and do some sledding for you guys This neighborhood across the way, I always forget its name, but the street's called like Bear Loop. That's my favorite neighborhood in the whole town because it has that prairie, this whole prairie right here. It just feels like little house on the prairie, even though those are mansions on the prairie. There's a walking path right there. People ride their bikes on that path as well. It's not too long, but it's beautiful. There used to be a lot of water in there as well, in that marsh area, the prairie. And we're gonna check out this side. Degree, 19 degrees now. Told you guys it gets really cold in Baldwin, but they don't get as much snow. Not even close.
cut off now. And once again, when we get, when we get this like left turn kind of here, look at, you can see my breath. Look at Snow Summit right there. Oh my gosh, just incredible. Still not many people on the road right now. All right, you guys, well, I just want to say thank you for cruising with me today for the aftermath video. It's 7.15 in the morning, 19 degrees on January 31st, 2023. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I look forward to seeing the comments. Please leave comments. Please leave a bunch of comments. I love responding to you guys. I will talk to you guys later. Cheers. Peace out. From Big Bear, California, the aftermath.